All right, YouTube. I want to talk about something I just heard about. A guy smashed a 45 pound plate on another guy's head and tried to make it look like an accident. It was all caught on camera. I'm not gonna put it on my video. I just wanna bring it to the light because a lot of people think that I'm crazy when I say there are crazy people in the gym who will try to hurt you. Jealousy runs deep and is dangerous, very dangerous. Like I said, somebody tried to shake my hand while I was bench pressing. Somebody bumped into my bar another time when I was bench pressing some very heavy weight. How much weight? I'm not gonna brag about how much weight it was. Watch my videos and I'll tell you how much weight it was. It's well over 300 pounds. Somebody literally did that. Now I'm hearing a story, a guy was dumbbell bench pressing where he can't see somebody coming behind him and the guy pretended to trip. He was probably, the, it looked like the only other guy in the gym, which I try my best to avoid people in the gym. Cause there's too many idiots out there. They're jealous because you're lifting some, most of the time they're jealous because you're lifting something that they cannot lift. Or maybe they can lift it, but they can lift it only with bad form. They're jealous because you have more muscle than them. They're jealous because you have less body fat than them. I'm fit because I work out and I diet and I exercise. And, I, and I'm pretty sure I have decent genetics. I'm not fit to show off on you. People think I'll be crying at no. Distractions? No, this was this was not this is way farther than what I be going through. But but I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised in the least. You got to remember, if you don't even lift, like I always be saying, if you don't even lift, you don't even know. If you've never been under some heavy weight, you don't know how it feels to be under some heavy weight. And then you don't understand how it feels the people who get mad, people literally get mad at you for something that they can work towards getting. You can work towards getting it yourself. And even if you can't get all the way there, you can get way farther than you are now. If you're weaker, you're on the weaker side, okay. I wanna be stronger, what can I do about it? There's two ways of building the biggest building in the city. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm relating this to the stuff that I go through. I don't know what happened in that video besides what happened. Only seen a couple seconds. I don't know the relationship between that man and that man. Maybe they knew, I don't know. This is my first time hearing about it. But why ain't that man in jail? Like 45 pound plate smash on the man's head without him even having a chance to like Brace block or anything, didn't see it coming. Yo, man. I had a 10 pound plate fall on my foot before. 10 pounds. On my foot. Not my face. My foot. I felt like that 10 pounds almost broke my foot. It literally did. My foot was swollen for weeks. I missed work, everything. 10 pounds falling on my foot. This man just got, man, I'm a life subscribe share. That's all I gotta say about it. Listen, people think I'm lying all the time. All the time I'm lying. I had somebody in the comments tell me I'm lying. You've been saying that for years. I've been in the gym for years and there've been idiots in the gym for years. It ain't gonna stop. Everybody got the, the, the quick, everybody got the quick solution to other people's problems. But what you should do is, and you don't know. You can, these people will not leave you alone. They won't, they will not. <laughs> Yo, man, dog, it's easy for you to say, oh, you can just get this, you, you can just get your own gym. Like, dude, you, you, you don't know where I live. You don't even know if I got money. You, you don't know. You don't. You don't know. You don't know how much personal space I got at home. 
You don't even know about that. All you know is what you see on this camera. You don't even know about that house. You don't know nothing. Everybody, if you got all the answers to somebody else's problem, then why do you still have problems? Everybody got problems. We all do. But don't take your problems out of other people. Like, dog, man, that, that was horrific. But, yo, be safe. Comment, like, subscribe, share. Pay attention. Pay attention to the way people's body language will tell you most of the time. Like, I don't know if this dude saw anything coming, but... Yo, man, like, I don't know the whole aftermath, but I can imagine it's terrible. 45 pounds on your face. Those weights are not pillows. I tell people that all the time. Those weights are not pillows. The heavier you lift, the heavier you lift, is like a magnet for people to come over there. Closer and closer and closer to you. I just made a video. I just, matter of fact, the video before this was called Universal Talk To Me Weight. Where I explain how much weight it takes for people to usually talk to me. You know, I'm warming up. Let's say I'm warming up on dumbbell press, right? I'm working up to the, the heaviest dumbbells in my gym is the 125. Before, I never usually make it to those. Because by the time I get to the 80s, long, drawn out conversation. I tell the people, shut up. Okay, yeah. They'll let you get your next set. Then they coming right back over there. You got to breathe to lift these weights. Every breath that you take is important towards lifting the next set. Your focus needs to be on the next set. My focus don't need to be on you. As a grown man, why you want my focus to be on you in the first place? They can get you hurt. There are crazy people in the gym. There's crazy people everywhere in the world. So why do you not think they exist in the gym? People are all out to get you hurt. Yeah. Jealousy runs deep. Envy runs deep. To the point where people rather see you hurt than to see you outdo them. Even though I'm not trying to outdo anybody in the gym. If I'm stronger than you, of course I'm going to outdo you. I'm not doing it because I'm going to show you that I'm stronger than you. I'm doing it because that's how much weight I need to lift to work out. If I'm strong enough to do the 125s for 10 reps, I shouldn't be doing the 25s for 10 reps just to make you feel better. What part of the game is that? That's why a lot of times I don't even go to the gym. I made up my mind. If I'm in the gym and there's people in there, I'm not going for any heavy weight. I'm going to go for moderate weight with high reps. Straight up. Moderate weight, high reps. Get me a good pump, work on hypertrophy, moderate weight, high reps. Because the heavier the weight is, it's just like a car crash. The faster you're going when the car crashes, the more likely you are to die. The heavier the weight are, is when you make a mistake when lifting, the more likely you're injured or you can die. People act like you don't have that sense of urgency, please, please leave the weights alone if you don't got that sense of urgency. Cause just like in a car, you might not hurt yourself, you hurting other people. You don't know who the next car, old people, whoever. It don't, it don't matter. Peace.